siphon has started. The hydroponic system has been using this bell siphon now for the last, well, almost a year now. And it worked fairly reliably. The catch is, though, I had to keep adjusting the water flow with a ball valve to get it dialed in just right so that it would stop with just one or two gurgles. Because otherwise, if I had the water volume too much, it would gurgle three, four, or five times. If I had the water volume not enough, it had a hard time starting siphon. So this was version 1, and it worked pretty reliably for almost a year. This is version 2.0. Version 2.0 here is new and improved. <laughs> what we've got here is a free-floating cap to break the siphon. Um, essentially, it is just an end cap with a little bit of pipe there, a whole crap ton of zip ties, two little bits of a cork from a wine bottle, synthetic cork that is, uh, a little bit of flotation because I noticed that uh, with all the zip ties it was getting a little bit uh, heavy and a little bit uh, negative buoyancy there. And then there's a couple of uh, little guide rungs there, just like this here, which are just from a Bic pen that I cut apart and uh, zip tied into position there. So there's also a spoke that is attached here to the tube to keep it aligned. So everything floats very effectively with no resistance there. And it goes up when the water level drops, and of course it drops back down, and does so very quietly as well. Up at the top, this here is just to keep it from oscillating in the tube when the uh, drain is draining there. Sometimes it would get a little bit of a shake to it, and that prevented that from happening, so it drained nice and smooth. Very simple, works like a charm. Uh, the one little trick that I also have here with this one is, uh, this is an example, this isn't the, uh, the actual one in there because it's uh, a little hard to take it apart now. Essentially, in the bottom of that, I uh, taped a spoke right next to the drain line. And the reason for that there is when the cap floats up, it hits that spoke right there and that's where it stops, always leaving an air gap at the bottom. Uh, originally, I had a V cut in a notch there, but it was really noisy and gurgly. This way, it has a little bit cleaner break, and it's more of a hissing or whooshing sound of air than it is a gurgling sound with the water. And that uh, improved that. Of course, this is just a small tubing I had laying around to demonstrate it there. The cork for the flotation here, it's just a wine bottle cork cut in half, and then cut in half again and zip tied to it. Added a little bit more buoyancy so that it floated really well there. And this is it. It works great. Uh, it starts siphon every time within a couple seconds. And it breaks siphon 100% of the time, uh, first time every time, uh, only one gurgle. And it doesn't matter what the water flow is when it breaks siphon. Uh, it runs max water flow or half water flow, doesn't matter. It breaks siphon perfect, uh, perfectly every time. That's it. Hopefully this helps people out there. Uh, my own little uh, version of 2.0 uh, of the Bell Siphon. Now the one thing I didn't mention yet, and I should probably point out, is all these little wire guides in here and the wire guides up here and the wire guide here, they're just bicycle spokes. That's it. I'm a bike nut. I had a ton of them laying around. They're stainless steel, so no rust to worry about there. And they're uh, dirt cheap, so uh, just some spokes and you can bend them with a wrench. And uh, very simple. Perfect braking siphon every time. Works like a champ.